The latest research shows that the secret, the key to longevity, a healthy, vibrant, active life up in over 100 year old people, the people in the blue zones, there's this one key, and you probably already participate in it as somebody investigating and living in your spirituality. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman, and I'm so glad you came by today to join us in our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. And you can find me over at metaphysicalministryinternational.com. So what is a metaphysical ministry anyhow? It's all about the spirituality of life. I was listening to a very interesting show the other day. It was about health and about neuronal health and your brain. And one of the doctors was talking about how it goes on in your life. It's not all in your brain. And the other doctor was saying, no, wait a minute, you're getting away from science. And the first doctor went back to, there's something more than what's going on in your brain. Well, of course there is, because your mind isn't in your brain. Your spirit isn't in your brain. In fact, the physical part of you and your five senses is a teensy weensy part of what exists in reality. Science is finally beginning to catch up with that fact. They're finally learning how to create devices to measure the energies that exist out there. We begin every week with a happy share. And my happy share this week is, I'm very excited, because I eat only game meat. I buy it from the farm down the road and everything's pasture raised. So there was some, I had a hankering, a craving. I wanted some corned beef, only I don't eat beef. But I was fortunate enough to find an ostrich roast. I took it, I corned it, I cooked it, and it tastes exactly the way I wanted it to. So I'm really happy about that, because when I crave something that I can't buy anywhere, I like to be able to figure out how to create it. And I love that the universe shows me how, where to get the supplies, the recipe, everything I need. So what is this secret to longevity? It's not about your food and your microbiome. Yeah, they're important, but they're not number one anymore. Instead, it's actually community. It's friendship. It's bonding with people. Oh. 
threads of gold. So in the blue zones across the world, the thing that everybody has in common is they participate in the community. They do things together. They go for walks together. They ride together. They play cards. And if somebody has a need, the whole community is there for that person. And when the need becomes theirs, the whole community is there for that person. What's the community where you live? Maybe it's your church. Maybe it's your spiritual group. Maybe it's the athletic team in which you participate. The fact is, by bonding with other people, with a group of people, you will be supported because it changes your body chemistry. Yes, the research shows that number one ingredient leading to a long and healthy and happy, vibrant life is community. Number two, sleep. Number three is food and an exercise. You can find me over at metaphysicalministryinternational.com and if you haven't already, go in over there and get your own copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path because connecting with your spirituality is key to your well-being.